In January, I wrote a story about the one person who was known to made it further down the Cicada 3301 rabbit hole than anyone else. His name is Joel Erickson. Ever since then, the emails have been piling in, telling me more about Cicada 3301. One in particular has caught my eye. For those that don't know, Cicada 3301 is a mysterious internet puzzle that appears online every January. It consists of highly complex series of riddles and enigmas that stretch from the digital world out into the real world. To solve these riddles, you need to have expert skills in a varying range of disciplines, including steganography, cryptography, and ancient Mayan numerology, as well as a detailed understanding of the 18th century European literature and even cyberpunk speculative fiction. And that was just for last year's puzzle. Thousands of cyber sleuths try to solve Cicada each January. There have been three annual puzzles since 2012, but none are known to have completely solved it. And in this case, it's not the journey that matters. The makers of Cicada promise enlightenment to those who can make it to the end. But what's more baffling than each riddle, or what enlightenment waits those who solve them all, are the people behind Cicada. No one knows if Cicada is a single person or a group of individuals through evidence from the puzzles, points to Cicada being more than one brilliant individual. The sheer scale of riddles transcends cyberspace and requires participants to call dummy phone numbers set up in the real world and travel to up to 14 different countries to find QR codes that have been physically taped to telephone poles. This suggests Cicada is indeed a global network of individuals, a cabal no one knows anything about, and it's the unknown cabal that gets people's minds racing as the Cicada 3301 puzzle itself. If Cicada is a group, how many members are there? Where are they based? What are their ultimate motives? Which brings me back to my inbox. Since writing my original story about Joel Erickson, a crypto security researcher from Sweden who was, until now, the only person to make it further than any other in solving the Cicada 3301 puzzle, I get a few emails each week from people alleging they have information on who Cicada are. Some emails are obviously fake, they're from fantasists that want to pretend they hold the hidden knowledge everyone desires. Some emails are downright strange, like the email I received a few weeks ago from the person who said he worked for a component of the intelligent community of the Five Eyes country, and this intelligent agency had reason to believe Cicada may be the same group that was behind the 2007 cyber attacks in the Baltics. Then there are the emails that say Cicada are aliens or terrorists, but every once in a while I'll get an email that has the air of believability to it. These emails give me enough of a kick to look into not only the claims they make, but to investigate the person who made them. I received such an email last week from a person alleging they made it past the point Joel Erickson did and were actually invited into Cicada's online lair on the darknet. I began exchanging emails with this person who was more than willing to give me his personal details provided I don't reveal his true name or contact information. After several follow-up emails and then speaking to him on Skype to get a story, I was able to verify credible details about his life, who he was, where he went to school, and he had the skills needed to solve Cicada 3301. It is for this reason that I bring you the story now, with the caveat that while I believe he is who he is, I believe he certainly has the skills to solve Cicada. I have no way of verifying what he says about Cicada's inner sanctum is true, though I will say his story is certainly plausible. Before exploring the story, this person told me it's important to take a moment to highlight that Cicada says they're looking for talented individuals who have the skills required to join them. The key word there is individuals. Individuality and individual skills seem to be a highly desired quality for Cicada, and it's for that reason, through no fault of his own, that Joel Erickson was shut out from entering Cicada's inner sanctum. While Erickson apparently solved all of Cicada's riddles, the accomplishment was bittersweet. Erickson only found out about the puzzle's existence three weeks after the other participants had already started their journey, and by the time he solved it, arriving at the ultimate destination in an anonymous website on the Tor network, Cicada had put up a notice announcing they weren't permitting people in anymore because they were disappointed that the participants had been sharing the solutions to the riddles online. Ironically, Cicada was shouting out the very person they sought, someone who could solve the puzzle on his own, as Erickson did. 
and with that it seemed like the lay beyond the curtains of the anonymous tour site would forever remain a mystery. That is, if it wasn't for the 16-year-old student who, with the help of his friends, made a past before Cicada shut its doors, this student, now 18, would email me two years later tell me he wanted to talk about what it's like to hang out in the Cicada 3301's inner sanctum and just what the group's ultimate goals are. And this student's name was Technology. Let's call him Tech. When I'm competitive, I'm very competitive, and this was really interesting, says Tech. When I call him over Skype and ask him what motivated him to try to solve the Cicada 3301 puzzle, in the background I hear him clacking away on his keyboard. It's a race against the clock and other people to solve the puzzles that involved cryptography and whatnot. And that was just really interesting to me. And then also the fact that it was a distraction from schoolwork, which is kind of nice. Tech, of course, is not his real name, but a handle he goes by, and one that he asked me to call him to protect his privacy. At 18, he'd just begun his freshman year as a computer science major at a major university in the Northeast. The university office confirms his enrollment to me. His course of study is probably of a little surprise to anyone who knows him because he's been coding since he was nine. But it was at 16 that he had first heard of Cicada. I was just in robotics class in my high school and a buddy of mine came up to me and said, Hey, there's this weird thing on 4chan. I said, what are you doing on 4chan at school? It's ridiculous, he said. I don't know, but check it out. So I took a look and we both just sat down and messed with it for a couple of hours and eventually found some people and that group of people transferred over time into a group that I finished with. It's the formation of the IRC group that Tech joined to solve the puzzle that is probably the reason that he managed to succeed where Joel Erickson was stopped. Where Erickson was working alone, Tech's group consisted of 12 people, most of them internet strangers, working together to solve part of the puzzle and share their findings. This success was in direct opposition to the directive from Cicada organizers that they are looking for talented individuals who can solve the puzzle. It's also the reason Cicada gave for shutting out people like Erickson, who arrived at the site on their own after teams working together had already found it. But it's this teamwork that enabled the 16-year-old Tech past the point where Erickson was shut out. What Tech found on the site, instead of a message telling him to go away, was a congratulations letter for getting that far. It also asked him to set up a new email address from a public free email service and enter it in the field below. The note on the site said Tech would receive instructions in a few days in how to progress further into the tour site. The next day the message was removed from the tour site, but then discovered in the source code of the former website was a binary code which referenced file names of previous clues in the puzzle. From the files names of previous clues, a new Tor network URL was found that led to a site with another image, the image, a painting, referenced the 1793 book, The Marriage of Heaven and Hell by William Blake. Tech wrote custom code to decipher another Tor URL from the text. From there, more puzzles followed, including the ultimate one, which was a MIDI file that needed to be decoded. Doing so resulted in an ASC2 armored message which members of Tech's group were instructed to send to a Gmail address. A few days later, Tech received an email saying there would no longer be any more puzzles. The email contained a final Tor URL and a username and a password for him to log in with. Tech had made it past the curtains. There was a bunch of people on it. Some were from my group, some were existing members or part of some. I don't know how to describe it, but it felt like the board of this weird organization says Tech, when I asked him about Cicada's home on the dark web is like. Tech says the site consisted of part message board, part chat room, with a private messaging feature as well. On the message board of the site were a list of different topics including a welcome section, as well as a section listing the goals and current projects of Cicada. In the chat room section of the site, Tech saw about 20 members. They wanted to further the use of cryptography in the world so people have privacy and anonymity and stuff like that says Tech. When I asked him what the current project's message board contained, those were some of the big end goals, very broad obviously. There was some end-to-end -end encryption thing that I was interested in working on. Tech's reports match an email that has since been leaked that is alleged to be more members of Cicada. In the email, the organization states, you have all wondered who we are and so we shall now tell you we are an international group 
We have no name. We have no symbol. We have no membership rosters. We do not have a public website. And we do not advertise ourselves. We are a group of individuals who have proven ourselves much like you have by completing this recruitment contest and we are drawn together by common beliefs. A careful reading of the text used in the contest would have revealed some of these beliefs. That tyranny and oppression of any kind must end. That censorship is wrong. That privacy is an inalienable right. You are undoubtedly wondering, what is it that we do? We are much like a think tank and that our primary focus is on researching and developing techniques to aid the ideas we advocate liberty privacy. We advocate liberty privacy security. You have undoubtedly heard of a few of our past projects, and if you choose to accept membership, we are happy to have you on board to help with these future projects. But Tech found that the benign nature of these messages did not mesh with some of the things Cicada leaders revealed in online chats. Text claims the Cicada's goals being to create an altruistic open source software with the benefit of mankind may disappoint or be unbelievable to people who think Cicada is a front for a terrorist or anarchist organization or a recruitment tool for the NSA, GCHQ, or another Five Eyes member. But just because their stated aims were benevolent, Tex says, doesn't mean he didn't find the Cicada organizers on the other end of the chat room unnerving. They wanted to make it seem like they were the network of people that had infiltrated if that's the right word, various private and public organizations, Tech says, going on to liken Cicada to the Freemasons and revealing that Cicada member in the chat room stated that Cicada members had infiltrated major magazine publisher Con Nast. Tech says that during an online chat with one of Cicada leaders, he told him that he wanted to write a blog post about his experience in solving the puzzle. The leader was open to Tech's ideas as long as he has agreed to leave some pertinent details out. I expressed interest in publishing a story of how the whole challenge went down. One of the leaders, he said, Hey, wait a bit. We have people at Wired. We can get that published for you. But I didn't really want to wait. And I also didn't really want to publish it in Wired. So I just went ahead and published it. They weren't happy, but once I removed some of the other details, they were fine. I pressed tech on just how far the Cicada leaders say they're involved with Wired goes. I don't think generally people at Wired are involved but Cicada made it seem like they had someone or multiple people inside Wired. As for other organizations, Cicada says they're infiltrated. I think they wanted to have the feel that they had these in positions in some government whatever, says Tech. But I didn't recall a specific instance of hearing that like I did for Wired. I asked Tech if he believes that Cicada leader said or if he's possible that people who organize Cicada are nothing more than a group of random hackers sitting in their basement who wanted people to believe that they are more omnipresent than they actually are. I don't know who would have the time to set that up, Tech says. The thing about the puzzle is that each step leads to something else, and it's the kind of thing that because it's time stamped, can't be changed after the fact. The signature wouldn't work out, so every step had to be planned out beforehand and worked out perfectly, otherwise the whole thing would have just fallen apart. That's a lot of hours all at once for a puzzle to work out nearly perfectly. My inclination is to think that it's not just random people. When I run through some of the theories of who Cicada might be, aliens, NSA, terrorist, Tech says, I have no idea, but says one of the most popular theories that Cicada is a front for a government security agency recruiting people is unlikely. I feel like the NSA has better ways of recruiting. Tech says, Cicada can consist of some security researchers at a major company or university, but then there were things he saw on the tour site which also suggest to him that's unlikely as well. It was too informal, he says. There were some spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes. Too many of those, I think, to be. Like GHCQ or something like that. And as for the theory, as some of the emails I get, that suggests Cicada is a cyber terrorist organization. There was really nothing ever said to the tune of disruption or virus creation or whatever, he says. All of it was like, oh yeah, we're going to release some public open source software. In the end, Tech still doesn't know who's behind Cicada or what kind of enlightenment, as its creators promised, there is to be had. And though Tech says he has no reason to believe Cicada is any type of evil organization, he says his experience on the inside was just weird and creepy creepy because we still have no idea who they are and it was just so well thought out it was weird across the globe 
14 different QR codes were placed just on lamp posts and mailboxes and whatever, and I have no idea how long it took them to place those there. They obviously got there somehow, he says. Setting just one example the way the puzzle breaks from the digital to the real world, someone had to do it, so they have some kind of resources at their disposal. But while many who obsess over the mystery that Cicada might have stuck around to find out more, Tech only logged into the anonymous site for a few weeks before leaving. I just got bored, he said. I had a job. I was working at a startup, of course, that requires focus. Also, the puzzle solving was over and I was... What? 16? Short attention span? It's just the puzzle solving is over, so I said, screw this, I'm out. As for the others in the IRC group, Tech says none of them, who he's still in contact with, says they stayed there for much longer, and after a while, the Cicada site on the Tor network became hidden again. Over Skype, I still hear Tech tapping away at his keyboard, working on some projects he's been working on the whole time while he's been speaking, only taking breaks to reply to me or to his instant messages this 18-year-old college freshman gets every few minutes. He tells me that he has a headache and a lot of work left to do for the night. But before I let him go, I ask him one more thing. After the experiences of getting farther than anyone else has known to have gotten with Cicada, who would you say Cicada are? And, regardless of what they claim, what do you believe their ultimate goal is? I don't know. I don't know, Tech says. That's the truth. I think that's the only thing that I can truthfully say.